beautiful people hi guys before we go any further i just want to remind you that god loves you and so do i <laughs> welcome and welcome back to this channel my name is Yenis and this is safe space so if you are new here if you are just passing by if this is the first time you're clicking onto my video karibu karibu sana please do feel free to subscribe this is a perfect perfect channel for you and if you have been here words cannot express how grateful i am may god bless you so yeah i really want to apologize because i have not been posting consistently i am very ashamed and embarrassed but um that brings us to today's video which i'll be posting today which is on thursday and because i promised a bonus video there'll be another one on saturday that means you will have three videos now in a week yeah and i hope i'll get back on track next week i am really sorry i am embarrassed and um i do not have an excuse so yeah so it's been a while since we had a conversation that is up close and candid so welcome to this video <laughs> oh by the way i'm not going to edit this video because i want it to be as real as it can be you all know how we do up close and candid we don't filter anything we talk about everything and yeah so before we hope on to it um uh, yesterday oh no i'm so embarrassed yesterday i did my hair these cornrows mm, i'm not really sure about them i'm not the one who did them for myself so i went to someone and asked them to do it for me and when they did i was not content and i'm not the kind of a person that will go and tell someone ah uh, mushuka vibaya so i don't know how i feel about them so how about you comment down below and tell me but i love them i love them because of the color of the braid um i was willing to go out of my way for this and now he even extended them and they're short and i could not complain to her face because i felt like she has given her all and i didn't want to break my heart and oh no and now I don't know how I feel. I am 50-50. I kind of love them because of the color. I'm not sure because of how she did the kugawa. Like like here, it's akinimbele and then she messed it. But it's fine. I believe she did her best. I believe she did what she could have done. Yeah. So yeah, so today we are going to be talking about self-development. And I am not... I told you, I choose topics that are not adequate. Uh, because everybody runs away from them so I choose them and I choose to do them because yeah they freak me out they make me feel scared but yes let's talk about them so I think last week I got myself a new diary I did I did I got myself a new diary this diary is specifically do you say specifically or specifically it is for uh, writing um, what I'm grateful for and what I'm looking forward to in life and uh, in that week I have realized a lot of things that I didn't think I would um, and one of the things is I realized I have been so inconsistent and that is so unlike me and I've been underperforming and it's not only with this channel it's with everything else at work um, at, at this house uh, with my communication I'm just under delivering everything and I was like yo look Eunice imagine we need to sit and talk and now that is why we are here uh, a while back we talked about um, uh, us improving ourselves and we said we need to get to a point where you get real with yourself you look at yourself and you understand uh, about you i think when i made the vision board that i did i freaked out and i think every gut in me asked me to just lay back and now that has been derailing almost every aspect of my life <laughs> wow i don't know how i got there but i am i am trying to get back and i really want to know if i'm the one who goes through that alone like when you're about to make a huge step in your life or when you make crazy decision or when you go out of your way and you go all wild to do things um because you're not like used to change a lot you're 
everything in you uh, works against that and it makes you feel like you want to stop because you're not used to that and i think that is what happened to me and i really want to know if we are in the same boat you know so yeah so i am here to just say that uh i am working on myself i love the fact that i understood that that is what is going on with me because that is all that matters uh i love that i am willing to get back on my feet again and push harder because that is what i need to do yeah so that's that's it that's that's like what brings us here that is like um uh what i'm here to encourage you about yeah i know i am not the best person to talk about this but i told you as i talk to you i keep talking to myself too and i would really want us to just pay attention to us um be grateful about who we are and who we are growing to become and be very attentive to notice when we are about to dodge from our goal <laughs> oh my god uh because we called this safe space i feel like whatever i go through i don't go through it alone so this is a place where i come and get vulnerable and um i know probably someone is feeling the same and um they really need to know that they are not alone and so that we rise together <laughs> yeah so yesterday I did something i now because i told you that i felt like i've been really um dragging my feet on every aspect of my life and i noticed that i have been an under deliver even at work and if you know me I am very meticulous. I love doing things in a particular way and I don't love doing things half-heartedly or halfway. So I texted um, the one who is in charge of me. I texted my manager and I told him, I am sorry. I'd first of all thank him because he is my leader. I appreciated him and which is from the bottomest part of my heart. <laughs> bottomest. Yeah. So... And I told him that I am sorry that I have noticed I have not been doing my best and I am willing to. You know, what's the point of having all the ego in the world and you feeling like you're right every time and even when you're wrong, you don't want to say you're sorry. So if you have been feeling the same and you're in a place where we can rise and get back on track, can we please do it? And I feel like I'm blabbing and repeating myself. So, um, this video is how long? Eight minutes. Eight minutes and 30 seconds, I guess. Yeah, it's still counting. But I am just here to ask us, as I ask myself, I know you're scared. I know it's a big step that you're about to make. But please. Please, can you hold on tight because it's gonna be okay? <laughs> oh, as I tell you this, I'm telling this to myself. And um, I wanna be genuine and say that I miss you. I'm sorry, I've been neglecting you. I'm the kind of a person that really runs, like I take off. Immediately I notice that I cannot handle a thing, but that is about to change. I, I'm gonna do better. Yeah, and also with you guys, I feel um, I feel like it's a journey of life, and everybody is going through it. Only that not everyone is talking about it. Yeah. Also, something else that has helped me to like kick kickstart the the back on track thing is prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I genuinely asked God to help me. And I was like, man, God, I'm just letting go of almost everything. And I'm like, yo, am I going to die? <laughs> am I dying? Why am I losing the motivation? But I think everybody loses it. And when it is time, when they decide, they get back. So can I get back, please? Can you do this? Can you do this because we got this? I know it's not everybody that gets vulnerable like I do, but I only get vulnerable because it's you. Oh, that sounds so right. Oh, that sounds like a bike. Should have been a poet. 
yeah we have come to the end of this video guys <laughs> if you have liked this video please do give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed already as you already can see i am a vibe so please hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a video so thank you so much guys for watching until next time bye